rather than trying to uh, quote unquote brainwash someone with the smooth jazz? Well, it's, it's more of trying to control the muse. The muse is actually an entity that lives in our basic molecular structure and within the melanin, which is the, which is the lifeblood of black people. These muses, melocenes, these things are much more advanced and there's a lot more uh, um, 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 things in the ancient world explaining these things. And so the, the muse is something that is drawn out of people. They also knew that the muse, where you get the word music, or do you get the word amusement, or museum. They understand that we would create, it creates for the body what the body needs to heal itself in a time of crisis. So that's why some of our greatest music came out of crisis. You see. So the government understood that the muse is a very active an intricate part of the inner workings of the soul. It is the soul's language to humanity through music. Not only coming out of man, but going back in man because there's because the muses are always people with talent that can help other people. So your talent helps other people's muses respond, which is nothing but the inner workings of humanity. In this particular case, the most highest form is black people, as far as the, dealing with this, how this muse realm works. So therefore, they must always retard it, guard it, and keep it under close wraps. So Motown, um, they had a, a, the, the Funk Brothers. The Funk Brothers was the guys in-house band for Motown. Um, and I was in Detroit a, a couple of, about a month or two ago doing a lecture. And one of the guys said, but the Funk Brothers, it was, who was the in-house band of Motown, who basically did all the music for most of the acts and all the great stuff you, got, you, you dealt with. They never went to a lot of the other major recording studios because they stuck as an in-house band. As a result, um, the government was very interested in their whereabouts and what they did. And I met one of the brothers who used to hang out with them, who was, was a close friend of theirs in Detroit. And he said that it was interesting that the government hounded them from the very first, from the very start, the government... The CIA and FI, the FBI was always on top of these brothers, always wanted to know where they were. You see what I'm saying? And always kept a close surveillance. So, surveillance. So, they, so, so they, they get on top of the music. In this particular case, if they can distort the music, like take for instance, 98% of most music that we hear now is sampled music from the past. This is a way to make sure that the muse don't progress into the future. The other part here is, is a modified, homogenized, pasteurized, watered down version on a lesser repertoire of a deepest, of the deepest type of sophistication music can be. You got the opposite. So smooth jazz is a simulation of jazz. It's more instrumental R&B. It's gimmicks that sound pleasant more than complex rhythms to inspire to a new paradigm. There's a difference. It's the lesser repertoire. You can have a gimmick, something that is repetitious, that becomes a theme music for a background other than a, a, a breakthrough music to catapult you and jolt you into the future. There's a difference. There's a difference between gimmicks. For all intents and purposes, rap music all 
to do is to, it's, it's one of the greatest phenomena on the planet. 98% of it is now gimmicks. Because the music part is nothing but fragments of stuff that was already made in the past. So that's the gimmick. The real deal talent that used to go into rap, because rap used to be very complex and talented now, is now going over to the lesser repertoire rappers who is mostly gimmicks now.